Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk and yet another video on PlayStation 5 and this time I'm going to be talking about extended storage. So one thing that I wanted to do was try and connect two drives, two SSDs to my PlayStation 5 at the same time because I am actually running out of space on my 1TB SSD that I'm using at the moment and that is a Samsung Evo which I'm using with a external enclosure and I'm going to show you that in a moment. Before we look at that, let me just show you how you should remove your external storage. So go to settings, go to storage, and you can see console storage and extended storage. So you can see I've got only 150 gigs of free space and that's some space that I've actually recovered by removing some games recently. Now you see I've got always installed PS4 games extended storage, so naturally it's going to use a lot of space, especially because I'm using PS4 games primarily at the moment. I only have a couple of PS5 games so the, what you should do is if you want to remove your extended storage is use safely remove from PS5 so if I click that so you can see at the, pop, at the top it says VLI product string that's because I'm using a you know just a normal enclosure with an SSD inside and that is coming up as a VLI product string or whatever so I'm going to click safely remove storage are you sure you want to stop using Yes. Right. So it's disconnected now. So just give me a moment, I'll disconnect that and show it to you what it looks like. Okay, so I've disconnected the drive and here it is. It's a Samsung 850 EVO 1TB, a USB-C enclosure, as you can see. So this is the drive I'm currently using. And the drive that I want to add is this drive. It's a very small 256 GB SSD I had lying around also again inside a custom enclosure. This is an M SATA drive Nevertheless, it's still an SSD so it should perform reasonably well. So in here I also have a Samsung M SATA uh, Sorry, a Samsung M SATA SSD. So let me connect this and let's see what happens. So I'm going to plug it in now And when I connect it, hopefully it will detect it Lights on, and it says, again, another random name, AS Media, because I'm using a third-party enclosure, AS2115, and this is 256 GB, format as extended storage. Now, before I do that, I'm going to connect my USB-C drive back while it's in this mode. So I'm going to connect the other drive. So now both drives are connected. Let's see if it can see both of the drives. Give it a moment. Right now, automatically it's switched to that second drive or my primary drive and it sees the drive straight away, all of my games, but it's no longer showing the single drive anymore. So that's a shame. We can't use two drives at the same time. At least that's what it looks like for now. So why don't I now disconnect this drive so let's go back to safety remove and straight away I can see the second drive again. So I'm going to format this anyway when you format yes. Okay, it's been formatted as extended storage and there we go we can now see it. So what happens now if I connect both drives which are formatted as extended storage into my PlayStation at the same time. So I'm just going to disconnect and reconnect the original drive I had. And let's see if it is able to switch between the two drives. Looks like it's doing nothing. Now if I click safely remove from PS5 on the 256GB drive, let's see what happens with both drives connected. Looks like it can't see either of them. So that's unfortunate because at least it would have been nice to be able to switch between the drives just by disconnecting one drive. But it looks like now what I'll have to do is disconnect my 256 GB drive and reconnect, sorry, disconnect and reconnect my 1TB drive and let's see what happens now. So 
So there we have it, we're back. So what this means in short is you cannot use two drives at the same time. If you wish to switch between drives, you have to safely remove one drive from the PS5. And that looks like the only feasible way at the moment to switch between two drives. It would have been great to have two drives available all the time for extended storage, but unfortunately, that's the way it is. So I've actually just jumped back into the video, gone backwards in time uh, to tell you that I actually just did a quick search and I did find on Sony's website describing about PS5 extended storage that there is a limitation that you can only have one drive installed at a time. Wish I had checked that first. But anyway, it's there. I'll link the description. I'll, link, I'll put the link in the description so that you can read through that if you wish to. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.